Yo, 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 this is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic and magic. And today, tonight, or whenever it is that you watch this video, we are discussing Venus in Scorpio, okay? So, first of all, I actually explained to one of my clients recently that, um, Venus has to do with the way not only that we deal with each other, but it's somewhat of a... It, it's, it's extremely important in the natal chart, okay? Whenever I look at a chart, I always think of the sun, moon, Venus, and sometimes the ascendant, but then also the fifth house is also very, very important, okay? Um... But aside from all that, Venus is the only planet that you can really see with the uh, with the naked eye here from Earth, okay? Yes, you can see the sun, but the sun is a star. And um, yes, you can see the moon, but the moon is a satellite. It's actually not, um, and it doesn't produce its own light. It just reflects the light, right? So with all that being said, Venus is the only planet that you can see from Earth with the naked eye. And um, <clears throat> I want to say sometimes there are other planets that you can see at certain points. Um, but anyway, so Venus is very, very important. Now, Scorpio is the sign that has to do with death, rebirth, um, and the death within the rebirth process, okay? Um, Scorpio is not... A very light-hearted energy and some would say that Venus is in detriment here in Scorpio but I wouldn't say it's in detriment so much as it is um, a very specific energy so with all that being said Venus in Scorpio is a very very deep deep and sexual placement for Venus okay um, Whenever I see Venus and Scorpio in the chart, I think, okay, this person doesn't mind jumping headfirst into romantic relationships. Um, anytime you've actually dealt with a Venus and Scorpio and they actually like you, you probably have some major Scorpio placements, okay? Because Venus has a lot to do with what we find to be attractive, how we attract partners, um, you know, what we think is sexy, how we deal with others, you know, how we share with others, how we um, enjoy spending time or not spending time with others, right? So it's like the more independent the Venus placement is, the more likely you are to see somebody being like a loner type, okay? So Venus in Scorpio can actually definitely be somewhat of a loner. Um, they don't necessarily like to spend a lot of time with people, at least not in the sense that they don't like to spend time under the context of, you know, just um, hanging out, going out to parties and, you know, spending time with a big group of people. It's not something that they're really accustomed to. Um, you would want to look at the rest of the chart because if they have, you know, energy like Sagittarius, um, you know, Libra, then you'll see, you'll see some differences there, but a lot of the time you see Venus and Scorpio individuals kind of keeping their social circle to a minimum, um, and they definitely choose their friends wisely, you know, they don't always have friends with people, or they don't always make friends with people that they haven't known for some time, right? <clears throat> At least... In, in what I've seen, Venus and Scorpio chooses their friends, like, for life, kind of, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, and that goes for romantic relationships as well, okay? They don't choose a partner simply because they think they're hot and they just want to date for a few months. Like, if Venus and Scorpio is trying to date you or dating you, then they probably have intentions to have you in their life for, for life, um, and so they can be pretty romantic, definitely um, passionate, okay? They do have a lot in common with Venus and Aries. Um, and 
it's interesting because it's like there are only a few signs that really can handle Venus in Aries. Um, <clears throat> me being a Venus in Aries, I kind of know from experience that the only signs that seem to really be able to handle me are Venus in fire signs, uh, Venus in Pisces, and Venus in Scorpio. Um, and the thing is, when it comes to romantic relationships, Venus to Venus, um, if Venuses are not compatible, you really do see people like moving away from each other. Um, so, for example, Venus in Scorpio and Venus in Taurus, um, they might be very, very attracted to each other, you know, very much into the idea of being with each other and even though this is like somewhat of an opposition, um, Scorpio and Taurus are one of the opposites that really, really do attract each other. Um, and so Venus and Taurus for Venus and Scorpio might be a really good match. Venus in Pisces, you know, this is the thing. Venus and Scorpio, um, they're very serious in love and they don't really play too many games, you know. Um, they might not always want to spend time with you completely because they can be very independent in nature. Um, but they definitely will be very much so wanting to know exactly what it is that you want. And Venus and Pisces, you know, they might, they might be a little bit all over the place. Ooh, sorry, I had to put a little bit of lip gloss on because my lips are hurting. Um. And, um, you know, they can be very much so loopy, dreamy, um, a little bit unreliable or very unreliable. And Venus in Scorpio typically doesn't like people who seem like they don't know what they want in love. Um, you know, one thing that I have noticed about Venus in Scorpio is that they're not afraid of somebody else's darkness. You know, they're not afraid to help you walk through the darkness, right? So... This can actually be a great placement for like a psychotherapist or a, a you know therapist of some kind, psychiatrist even. Um, Scorpio is one of those signs that really doesn't mind seeing your dark side. And so if you're a little bit goth or a little bit, um, you know, let's say you have Pluto fifth house, then, you know, you're definitely going to be their type. Um, they definitely like it when their partners wear black. So if you're trying to attract a partner with Venus and Scorpio or somebody with Venus and Scorpio, then you definitely should be wearing black. Um, you know, anything that really makes you seem very domish, you know, very dominatrix vibes, um, femme fatale vibes, you know, think, um, uh, what's her name? Something rabbit whatever with the big boobs and the you know voluptuous voluptuous curves right they definitely if it's a guy that's you know heterosexual then he's definitely going to want a female with a very round curvy body right uh bbw is that the word i don't know but they really do like women with curves um and, you know, women with Venus and Scorpio, they're going to like the guys that are very serious, very mysterious, very, um, you know, keep to them, keep to themselves types, types of people, people who really don't um, talk too much and people who seem to kind of have a wall, a wall put in place. You know, it's like with Venus and Scorpio you want to open up but you don't want to give them everything you know at least not right away because <laughs> they definitely love mystery they definitely love somebody who has layers somebody who you know with every single date you're unfolding a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and um you know you don't have to be super um flowery and watery in fact they kind of don't like that you know they kind of like somebody who's a little bit more like slap you in the face or not be afraid to kind of just do what needs to be done without waiting for um you know somebody else to do it um they do they can't they are pretty traditional though i'm not gonna lie 
Um, cause you've got to think that, or you've got to realize that Scorpio tends to pull a lot from their opposite energy wise, um, Taurus, and they do tend to be very traditional. Um, so they might not shy away from traditional types of relationships. So this is something that they also have in common with Capricorn. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely wear black. I'm telling you, like... <clears throat> I um for example there's this guy that I've known for for many years and we actually started dating recently again and um I remember that he had Venus in Scorpio or has Venus in Scorpio and so I was like you know what I'm going to wear black because I used to wear a lot of black and I I know that he'll like it Lo and behold, the next time I saw him, I was wearing all black, and he told me that he liked it when I wore black. So, definitely, definitely wear black if you're trying to attract them. Um, you know, even if you're not head to toe in black, you know, just wear like a black top, black jacket, and then the rest, you know, be colorful or whatever. Um, but, you know, always kind of have that, that, that dark vibe, you know, that, um, you know femme fatale think femme fatale um and um if you're also interested in kind of like what what they're interested in what types of energies venus and scorpio is attracted to then look up um pluto fifth house okay because pluto in the fifth house is probably going to be one of the best descriptions or the best energies that you could research when thinking of you know what does venus and scorpio actually find to be beautiful right because venus has everything to do with what we find to be feminine right and so um lilith types you know pluto fifth house types ascendant in scorpio types um scorpio types you know scorpio sun sign scorpio moon sign these are all energies that venus and scorpio is going to find very very attractive um, now, I'm not saying that if you don't have these placements that they're not going to be attracted to you. I'm definitely not saying that. But I'm just saying that if you would like to kind of, you know, harness a little bit of that energy, then by all means, you know. I think I have a couple of Pluto Fifth House videos here on the channel. Um, but anyways, yeah, I guess I'll take this time to say that my um, I am an astrologist and... I do have time available for new clients, and so if anybody's interested in getting a reading, definitely send me an email. Uh, I'm going to have all of my, my links and my email and everything in the description of the video, so don't forget to check it out. Um, if you would like to maybe get a discount, um, I can give you 10% off. Just say uh, in the email, Venus and Scorpio, 10% off. Um, and I will give you 10% off of your next reading. Um, so yeah, I do synastry individual reports, and I also have some reviews that you can look at to just to get a, um, you know, some some of my previous clients, you know, get their input on how they felt my my readings went. So, and I always get good feedback. I'm always getting thanked profusely at the end of my at the end of the consultations. Anyways, or sessions, I should, I should say. But anyways, okay. Venus and Scorpio, um, you know, they're definitely deep. And they love deep poetry and deep music. Um, I wouldn't say that there's any particular type of music that Venus and Scorpio likes, but they do more than likely like rock or some type of metal. Um, you know, Venus and Scorpio is, is not a lighthearted kind of lover. They're definitely going to want to touch you all the time, okay? And this is one of the more sexual positions for Venus. You know, these people express their love through sex, you know, or just through fondling, touching, um, caressing. You know, think Venus and Taurus, okay? They, they want to touch you. They want to feel you. Um, so... It is a beautiful position for Venus, and I can't believe that up until this point, I never did Venus in Scorpio. I actually looked at my videos because I was like, you know what? 
I want to see the Venus and Scorpio video. Let me see what I said there. And I realized that I never recorded it. Um, so I'm so sorry. But, you know, this is one of the one of the Venus placements that's a little bit hard to define because, you know, it's almost like even though they want you, they don't always want to be with you all of the time with which as a Venus and Aries individual, I find it a little bit unsettling because it's like when I like someone, I want to be with them all the time, right? But Venus and Scorpio, you know, when they pour into their partners, they really pour in and they don't always have the energy to give that much, you know? Sometimes they really do, they do care about the people that they like very quickly and they fall in love pretty, pretty fast, you know, and, um, you know, they feel extremely deeply. This is probably why they don't want to spend time with their partners all the time because it can be too much. Um, they say that Venus and Scorpio is in detriment, but it's, it's not in detriment. It just isn't a lighthearted kind of love the way Libra is, you know, Libra rules Venus and, um, Venus and Libra is way more lighthearted way more, um, you know, casual relationship oriented where Scorpio is kind of like, they want to own you at the very beginning, you know what I mean? They don't want, um, you know, and they really do see, they see things as tests, you know what I mean? They might test you, they might really, um, you know, give you a lot of love and attention and then they might pull away and kind of disappear for a while. And this is a method, you know, this is a method that they use to really, really make you miss them. Um, it's not like love bombing or anything like that. It really is just their desire to have you fall deeply for them. And they, they know how to do it. They know how to, um, you know, plant a seed of love and watch it grow and pretend that they're not, you know, watering it secretly with their, with their love, you know. Um, they definitely know how to give gifts. Um, don't be surprised if they watch you very closely or if it seems like, you know, they are not really paying attention because they won't forget anything, you know. Um, I remember this one time, this very first time that me and this person went on a date. We were at an event and, um, you know, they were playing music, people were dancing and so... We started dancing together and somebody wanted to come in between us and tried to actually pull me away from him, um, the Venus and Scorpio. And, uh, you know, the Venus and Scorpio, he let me decide what I wanted to do, but I decided that I wanted to keep dancing with him. And um, it was one of those things where he told me that I passed the test, you know. It, it wasn't that... Um, it wasn't that he had set it up and he was trying to test me. It was that if I had danced with the other person, he would have just totally forgotten about me and would have moved on because loyalty means everything to Venus and Scorpio. And if Venus and Scorpio doesn't feel like they can have you all to themselves, then they'll try to, you know, or if they feel like they couldn't at the very beginning, then they'll just kind of like let you go. You know what I'm saying? So don't, do not, okay? Do not try to play any emotional games with Venus and Scorpio because they're not, they don't want, um, they are all about drama, kind of, but they don't want drama. It, it's kind of like the type of drama they want is, you know, has nothing to do with infidelity okay because loyalty for them is everything you know so don't try to flirt with it with other people in front of them don't try to you know tell them that you're dating somebody else if they feel like somebody else is involved then they're gonna be really pissed you know or they're just really gonna not like it at all and they're gonna try to maneuver the situation so the other person just leaves um, you know, so don't be surprised if you have friends, like, let's say you are dating a Scorpio Venus person and you have your friends around your, your friends of the opposite sex or the attractive sex, whoever it is that you're attracted to. Let's say you bring them around your Venus and Scorpio lover 
don't be surprised if you catch your Venus and Scorpio lover like mad dogging them and really trying to discourage them from staying your friend because they do not want competition. They will beat the competition and um, it's just it's just harder on them though. It, it's hard on them to feel like they have to fight for your love so don't do it. Um, don't play games. <laughs> With all that being said, you know, Venus and Scorpio is a very serious lover. They're definitely devoted, um, very loyal. You'd really want to look at the rest of the chart because there are certain aspects that would indicate uh, a person who is unfaithful. Um, sometimes there are other aspects that are indications that they are very devoted and very committed. Um, so you really do want to get a reading. Um, with all that being said, this is uh, <laughs> starts with magic. <laughs> Whoa! Um, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, peace.